to us. NLE National Level Exercise 2014 linked in the story that is up on DrudgeReport.com. So what you do is you go to Drudge on the right-hand side, and then inside of that article, you can click on the NLE 2014 document, and you can see that for yourself. There it is, report. Homeland Security exercise targets online dissent. You just click that. And then when you go to that story, you can go through and you can read the document for yourself, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is there in the article. And actually, I have a printout of it that I had yesterday on the other side of the building doing a story on it with uh, Rob Dew. Will you guys bring me that printout over here to the side of the building? Thank you very much. I know they're listening over there on the TV side of the building. So you can go see that for yourself. So the uh, you can see the PDF there right there at the top of the third. There it is. Right there at the top of the third uh, paragraph. DHS FEMA National Level Program Capstone Exercise 2014 Scenario Ground Truth. And after we put that out, now it's been picked up by a Scrib. So it's up there for everybody on record who would like to be able to go and go through that document and read it for yourself. And who do they train to battle? Well, they train to battle online, but also physically. This document deals with online. Those who they see as terrorists who are going to criticize martial law and the implementation of a, quote, socialist tyranny. I want to explain something here that is absolutely fundamental and at the heart of everything we face. In the last 20 years, mainstream state-run media has completely discredited itself and destroyed itself. When I was a child, mainline news would report on government drug dealing, torture rings, corruption. The government couldn't get away with one tenth of what they do now because the establishment was scared of tyranny. And even though they were running things and corrupt, they didn't want a total tyranny to come in because that would upset the entire system and would endanger uh, their positions. Liberty produces prosperity. So the elite wanted to skim off the top. They were smart. I'm not endorsing what they did, but they were not one-tenth as bad as this current elite that wants it all, wants it now like Hitler and Napoleon. They're going for broke. They want to dominate their opposition. It's about dominating their opposition, not about even being in power. Bad for business. What I'm going to tell you here is the big enchilada, folks. When you look at this, they got the mainstream media to totally whore themselves out and destroy themselves on every single front. And now you notice CNN, MSNBC are just going to cooking shows. The system's done with them. They're not even needed anymore. Now they're moving on to entertainment to put propaganda out through. They've always done that, but now it's intensifying and becoming more naked. When they're done with you, they throw you away. They destroy the media institution while they're pouring it out. And the same thing goes for the police. As you're federalized... As you're trained and given the power to kill whoever you want and get away with it. As you're corrupted, that's done so your institutions that were never perfect but were a lot better in the past, undoubtedly by every metric, can be discredited and destroyed to have a night of the long knives and get rid of the SA and bring in the SS later, to use a Nazi-German analogy from 1933, 1934. This is the pattern. Humans do the same thing over and over again. This is the, the logic of globalist controllers. This is the logic of tyranny. This is the logic uh, of these systems, the dark logic, the wicked logic. It's, it's their signature, their modus operandi in criminology. They do the same thing basically over and over again. That's how I know them. I know what they're going to do before they do it because I've studied them. I know what's in their hand. I know the cards they've got. And they're looking at the ace of spades that is setting a nuke off in this country and having COG totally take over and the average coward line up behind them and do whatever they say. If everyone goes along with this, if we don't signal that we're aware of what they're planning and what they're doing and that Obama is putting this out to basically telegraph to the Russians, hey, we'll set a nuke off and start World War III with you. That's what he did in that statement. So internationally, he's signaling what could be the beginning of World War III, kicking Russia out of the G8, huge development. And domestically, they're lining up and going 
gun owners and veterans are the enemy and those that don't want socialist tyranny, they're preparing to secure their homeland during their giant global war, Pax Americana. And of course, many of you are freaking out right now because you should be. We've talked about this at nauseum and now it's happening. This means they're looking at actually engaging this. Now, when we come back, we are going to play you the clip of Obama just 30 minutes ago saying his number one threat is a nuke going off in Manhattan. We'll be right back. CBS News article that came out hours after we broke the story with Senator Lindsey Graham saying that if we don't attack Iran, remember back during the whole Syria thing three months ago, that nukes would go off in New York uh, or in the Carolinas. Charleston, to be specific. Senator Graham warns of nuke strike after missing warheads report. Senator warns South Carolina is nuclear bomb target following InfoWars report on black ops nuke transfer. There's CBS News. Graham, nukes in hands of terrorists could result in bomb coming to Charleston Harbor. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, the big move, the coup d'etat in this country, the number one weapon they've got is a nuke going off that has been jacketed in an isotope to fingerprint it to a foreign power. You blackmail the foreign power you want to attack, just like they did Iraq with 9-11, when it was out of Saudi Arabia, clearly, undoubtedly, and you go after whoever you want. And they've just kicked Russia out of the G8. That is a big deal. I told you last year that my spidey sense was off the chart, and now this year it's beyond off the chart. But you don't need spidey sense, ladies and gentlemen, to know this is serious. And all I want is prosperity. All I want is due process. All I want is a future. I don't want the globalists who are hell-bent to get our guns, break this country, and turn us into their military arm completely. And to finally capture the U.S. The globalists just don't want to capture Russia. They've already got the U.S. partially captured. But they want it fully captured. They want to secure their rear guard homeland. And the globalists want to punish their political enemies, and they're training the military and the police secretly. But we've blown it wide open, so now it's public, to take us on. That's treason. George Soros is financing banning guns here. He's financing attacking Russia over there. Bill Clinton's pushing attacking Russia over there, pushing taking our guns and our kids here. MSNBC's pushing attack in Russia over there. They're pushing taking our kids and our guns here. They sow division. They sow racism. They sow control. Look at them. Turn them on. It's an enemy globalist banker propaganda channel like Dilligan Radigan told you. And I'm sitting here saying all this. I can't believe I'm saying it. It's totally true. It's totally public. And I wish it was a lie. I wish it wasn't this crazy. Here's the Department of Homeland Security. I'll show you a document can shop. Federal Emergency Management Agency National Exercise Program. Capstone Exercise 2014 Scenario Ground Truth. Cyber attacks are expected throughout the exercise by members of anti-government organizations such as Free Americans Against Socialist Tyranny and individuals sympathetic to their cause. And then it goes on for page after page how they're going to take on the people that are against the tyranny. During martial law. It uses the words martial law in here. This is what they train for. Martial law. And who do they go after? The people that are aware of their operation. I mean, we're living in a V for, v for Vendetta movie, ladies and gentlemen. But it's not a movie. Let's go to the Lord and Savior. And he will be our Lord and Savior when the nuke goes off. It'll turn him into Kim Jong-un. He will be our Savior when the nuke goes off. And I just can't believe it. I, I, the, the fact that they're pushing all this right now means they're seriously thinking about either letting somebody do it or doing it themselves. And it's so easy with a nuke because you can only use a very small number of people who, of course, are gotten rid of later. Let's go ahead and go to that uh, tape. Of and so my response then uh, continues to be uh, what I believe today, which is Gosh. Russia's actions are a problem. They don't pose the number one national security threat to the United States. Uh, I continue to be much more concerned when it comes to our security with the prospect of uh, a nuclear weapon going off in Manhattan, which is part of the reason why 
the United States, showing its continued international leadership, uh, has organized uh, a forum over the last several years that's been able to help eliminate uh, that threat in a consistent way. All right, way. so they're at The Hague, the seat of global governance, global government.